Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, today is uh, July 18th and it is brutal hot. Man, it was uh, 91 when I came out and uh, there are thunderstorms building back behind me to the west and a little bit to the north. The clouds have built up enough now, they've covered the sun and I got out here to shoot this video. So hopefully we can get it done for before it uh, starts raining. Uh, so been busy. Uh, haven't, uh, I didn't have a video ready for this, this last weekend. So y'all, uh, may have missed that. I don't know. But anyway, so, uh, the, uh, chicken, uh, fortress of solitude is complete. So there will be no more, uh, coyote snacking on my chickens and, uh, it's pretty much critter proof. Uh, the only thing that, uh, can get to it now would be like an aerial attack. So, and we'll work on that, uh, later in the fall because winter times usually when the hawks bother the chickens because there's not much for them to eat you know uh, uh, at least that's been my experience around here so last video was shot uh, July 13th and it's been six days since we worked on this hive number six and it it appeared to be queenless uh, I went ahead and checked my other queenless hives uh, robbing was bad so I only did like top inspections on let's see it's uh number 10 and number 19 so that's the two that i pulled splits out of with the queen in them so i made them queenless so we need to go back and check 10 and 19 but first we're going to get in six and also i had 27 superseding i checked 27 and hey it had a queen that's the one i should have shot the video on but man i was going fast and it was hot so anyway 27 uh successful requeening there so put that in the win column we needed one of those uh so we're gonna get in hive six and i did put a brood frame in there i don't remember which hive i got it from but uh, i got a brood frame in there with some eggs and uh, notched a, f a few of the uh the cells that i could see eggs in and uh, we'll see if they pull down a new queen uh emergency queen cells on this one or if maybe there's a queen that was on a mating flight and uh, or we just missed her and uh, we'll see what they did with that frame. So let's get in hive number six and see what we find. I was just noticing walking down here. So that's a uh, hives five, six, seven, eight right there. I just noticed that my four by fours are warping there. So I need to get me another couple cinder blocks and put in the middle there, get them leveled back up. Okay, what do y'all think we're gonna find this time? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll find a queen in here. That'd be great. Uh, next best thing would be if uh, we got queen cells again. These bees here are probably going, not again. Leave us alone. There's a one lone high beetle. Whoa. Actually, there's a couple. B grabbed that high beetle and grabbed it and rolled off the, <laughs> off the lid with it. So that's some good high beetle hygienics. Okay, man, I'm having tripod malfunctions. It's got so much propolis on it, I can't slide it up and down. Gonna have to clean it off of there. So I don't expect to see anything out here on the first frame. A little bit of shiny nectar in there. Not much. Nectar flow has uh, pretty much ended, uh, I'm pretty sure. Because the last video, uh, after the video, I did a few more inspections and uh, it was bad. The robbing was bad. Setting a frame out like that uh, with a little bit of nectar in it, they just went crazy. That's uh, got some pollen and bee bread in there. So this hive keeps getting uh, more bees one frame at a time each time I put in a frame with uh, brood and eggs in it. Just uh, kind of keeping an eye out for a queen. I need to uh, I need to get some wax on this. Let me do that real quick. So if this video is a total bust, at least I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's this frame. So there's no wax on this plastic foundation right here. So it comes pre-waxed from Man Lakes where I get it, and uh, it's right cell. 
Works good uh, when you put it in an nectar flow, they'll draw it right out. But if you put it in a hive, like during the dearth or uh, through winter, this wax just goes away. I don't know where, what they do with it, but it, it just goes away. So it's dry. There's no wax there at all. So I carry with me these uh, like one ounce beeswax bars and you just rub it on there like a crayon. And that will help them to draw that out whenever they're ready to draw it out. Or they'll take that wax off and <laughs> go do whatever with it again. But uh, so I picked this tip up from uh, uh, Sweet Stingers and it's uh, the guy's a local beekeeper. Uh, he uh he knows uncle home with beekeeping very well and for for the central part of the united states that latitude he has several hives he manages all over the uh, the state and he goes around and takes care of them he also is a degreed horticulturist he knows all about uh trees plants so the reason i'm telling you this uh if you, if you like to read about bees and uh, want like a little lesson every day, he puts out a lesson every day on Instagram. And it's uh, Sweet Stingers is the name. And I picked up this tip from him. I picked up some other little tidbits of knowledge. You know, I've been keeping bees for, was it, nine years now? And uh, he mentioned something the other day. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So he also does education for uh, little kids they come out and they get some all in bee suits and they take them through the hives uh, so check him out on instagram sweet stingers and he also has a youtube channel okay let's get on through here but yeah that uh daily lesson from justin on sweet stingers i read that every day on instagram it's pretty neat he has a, like a what's blooming once a week, shows you what's blooming, talks about it in depth, you know, like you're watching a horticulture channel or, or reading about one. Okay, pollen. Pollen, bee bread. Let's see. This next frame is the one I put in. So I got it there marked a notched July 12th. I thought it was the 13th. I get my days mixed up. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna find? What's it gonna be? Yes or no? Uh, I don't see where they pulled them down. Right there's where I notched it, and right there. I don't see a queen either. Oh wait, what do we got here? It looks like there's a queen cell they may have pulled right there off the bottom. I may have grabbed a frame that had uh, two, two old of eggs. I was having a hard time seeing. My eyes were full of sweat. I was super hot and I just wanted to get it in there and get out of here. I don't think I notched this side. I don't see a queen. Let's get our flashlight out and then take a peek at that little cell there on the bottom. There is a queen larva in it. Okay, get out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. Beep, beep. Excuse me. People want to see. There we go. Gosh, I don't see in there or not. Anyway, there is a queen in there. Queen larva. So we want to get it back in oriented the same way. Uh, so they wouldn't draw that down like that if there was a queen in here. So there's no need to <clears throat> do anything else with this. Okay, so maybe the third time's a charm with this one. So uh, hopefully that's a quality larva. So they didn't pick the ones that I uh i had notched so i probably notched uh, they were probably too too old of uh they were probably larva that had, were a little bit too old so to make a queen with uh so the good thing about this it's not going to go laying worker 
We've got two wildflower meadow banked queens over there. So uh, if this doesn't take, that's what we'll do. One of those will come in here. Uh, unless we have more hives go queenless, which I don't anticipate that happening. Uh, but we do have uh, the two that, that, in addition to this that we are working on. So let's get over to uh, number 10 over here and see if we can find uh, our queen in there. Okay, hive 10. So last time I went through it, uh, robbing was so bad, I just checked the top box. Uh, so we'll see how it goes today. This is a little stronger colony, so I'm gonna use a little bit of smoke. So we'll just get these outside frames out of the way here. Won't expect to see a queen out here. So uh, this is a uh, honey frame. Man, I really would like to see a queen in here. So basically a honey frame, nectar right in here. This is all capped honey out here. And this side's the same. Wouldn't expect to see a queen on this here. She's going to be uh, closer uh, in this area here where there's not a lot of food resources. She's going to be where she can lay eggs. And this is uh, a lot of pollen and bee bread here. Same here. So usually when you see a frame like this with all this uh, pollen and bee bread, right next to it's where you'll start seeing your brood, your, your queen's going to be hanging out. But with this hive, that has been queenless for a little while. There's no telling. Now this, this frame looks uh, pretty much identical to the prior one. Lots of nectar. Nectar here, capped honey, and uh, pollen and bee bread in this area. Same thing on this side. Right here's here's where we want to see one. Let's go. Come on, queen. Yeah, it's too heavy. There's a lot of honey on here. Yeah, same deal. Okay, at some point we're going to want to get uh, brood frame in here because we don't want them to be without brood <clears throat> for more than a couple weeks because uh, they will go laying worker on us. That's a bad thing. A lot of bees in the bottom, so there's a lot of food up top, so the brood chamber may be down below. And that's all honey. These next frames are pretty much empty. So, we'll put this back together. Looks like the bees are going to cooperate with me as far as uh, not doing a bunch of robbing, and I'm going to be able to get down in the bottom. So when I pick that top box up, this box lifted. So that tells me there's not much down here as far as like honey. No weight to the bottom. Bunch of pollen there. Bunch of pollen on here too. This frame is almost entirely pollen. I have heard the term pollen bound used this year. I think it was Cayman Reynolds that mentioned that. Oh, dropped it. Lots of bees on here. And it's an empty frame. So that's a sign that there's eggs in here. Maybe. Looking real close for a queen. Gosh, that looked good. I do see royal jelly in the bottom of these. Yeah. We got us a layer in here. I don't see her though, man. She ought to be right here on this, right here. Where are you?
see if I can get you a shot of this. Let's see, it's mainly right in here, I think. There, see the white? Oh, good grief. I tell you, I must be going blind because uh, there's the queen right there. She's uh, got her track shoes on. So she, yeah, looked like a nice mated queen there. Good sized. So we will get out of here and leave her be. There's the thunder. I am going to. All right, success. Okay, boom, notch one up uh, another one in the wind column. So we had 27 and 10 successfully requeen. Uh, let's get on to 19 right there and check it real quick. Okay, number 19, this is the second hive that I pulled the late season split on. I called it the last chance split. So, uh, I put the little uh, thing sticking up here on hives that are in that condition, so uh, that are requeening. Uh, it does two things, I think. Uh, it helps me know where to go look, and also that queen that goes out and orients and on a mating flight sees that and knows this is where I need to come back to. Maybe uh, total BS, but uh, I do it. <laughs> Wow, this hive uh, does not weigh much at all. They need some help resource-wise. Uh, so we got our fall flow coming into September, October time frame. Do have a frame feeder in here. I, I had been feeding them, but uh, it's, it's empty right now. So I pulled the split on this hive the same day I did uh, number 10. Pulled their queen out, made a split. This hive remained queenless. And uh, I notched uh, several frames, or several, I put several notches in a frame with eggs. I got a couple of them marked here, right here and right here. So it could have been either one of these. Uh, I may have done it twice. I think I did it, I have done it twice maybe. Actually, no, I have not done it twice. I've done it once. One of these is probably an old marking. This will be uh, nectar. Yeah, just like the last frame I pulled out. This one's nectar and a little bit of pollen, which some of that nectar is going to be 50-50 uh, syrup that I've been feeding them. I'd only feed my hives that need it. Someone left a comment one day that I was creating a bunch of lazy bees. <laughs> uh, boy, it's really getting dark. So uh, some prime laying territory right there, but I don't see any eggs. And we've got nectar here and a lot of pollen. Boy, at the rate I'm spotting those queens, I need to start looking a lot harder. A little bit of capped brood here. I believe that's left from before because there's nothing else around it. So that's some of the last uh, brood that the original queen laid. Same thing on this side. Uh, it's mostly emerged here, but there's a little left on the outside ring where she starts laying in the middle and works her way out. So the, the youngest eggs were on the outside and that's what's left. And that's a nice spot for a queen to lay. So you notice on that last hive, the frame that I f eventually found the queen on, they had it covered. And that frame didn't weigh anything. So I knew there's a reason all those bees were on that lightweight frame. 
they're covering those eggs and feeding them and getting ready for that to uh, merge into a uh, larva and they take care of that so that's why all those nurse bees were on there so that's a that's a good sign if you grab a lightweight frame and it's covered with bees and they look like they're there for a purpose see these bees kind of got it covered but they all got their heads stuck in there and these are all cells full of pollen and nectar so you know not going to be a queen laying on there not much going on there on that frame it's mostly empty a little bit of nectar oh would you shut up and go away <laughs> yeah these these frames up here just mainly have a little bit of nectar in them looks like we're going to go down below Okay, yeah, so this one didn't look that good. I didn't see uh, any signs of any, any queen activity in there at all. So uh, we'll give it another week and uh, we'll probably make the call next weekend, which that's going to be tough because next weekend I'm going to be pulling honey. So I, I don't know. It, it needs attention. So maybe I can get my honey pulled next weekend and it'll be two weeks with there's still some brood left about the two week period and I can transplant a wildflower meadows queen in here maybe I can do get that done in the middle of next week so uh, getting in towards the end of July but uh, yeah so we've got two hives uh, still needing attention and we've got two banked queens so hey that's the best I've ever done going into the fall uh, which that's a little ways off yet. So I'm not gonna count my queens before they hatch. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, not, not much more to say about that. So I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on your way out and check out Sweet Stingers. So uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.